Roland, Benedict, and Frederica regroup back in the capital. But what they experienced while they were away could very well alter the course of destiny itself. Chapter 15, Part 3, Fate. Is there something on your mind, Roland? Sarah Noah. I do not know what I should do. Did something happen in the capital? No, that problem has been dealt with. I've made sure those damned royalists will never cause trouble again. Was such harsh punishment truly necessary? Of course it was. When they should have been helping to rebuild the kingdom, they instead profited off the people's hardship. And on top of that, they sought to string me up as their puppet king. I understand, but... You know what they told me? They said that is what Glenbrook truly is. That it must be ruled with the royalist careful mediation between the royal family and their loyal subjects. They said good kings need not think for themselves. They said my father and my brother understood that. Even if that is true, you have the power to change it. I tried. That is the entire reason I took the throne. But nothing has changed. No matter how many corrupt aristocrats I've cast out, this kingdom has always been broken. As Frost's invasion just ensured we could never put the pieces back together. I do not have the strength to reconcile a land and people torn apart by hatred and greed. I cannot give Glenbrook what it needs, king though I may be. Roland. Apologies, my friend. I should not burden you with my woes. You burden me with nothing. But if you are struggling... All is well. Trust me. So long as you are by my side. Sarah Noah, I would speak with you before we meet with the others. Is something the matter? I was led to believe the Rosellan village escaped all but unscathed. Pray, look at this. A book? We recovered it from a band of brigands. It once belonged to the Esfrosty archives. It was authored by one Orlea, my mother. Inside is the truth about the Roselle. Nay, about all Norzelia. The truth? How would your mother have that knowledge? The Rosellan people have long passed down the secret of the salt. My mother was a chosen keeper of that history. In ancient times, the Roselle lived in the southernmost reaches of Norzelia, in a place called Centralia. It is said Centralia was on the shore of a vast expanse of salt water they called the sea. Back then, the Norzelia we know was at the bottom of that sea, but a cataclysm dried up all the water, and thus this land came to be. The salt crystallized and sank into the earth, the very earth we now walk upon. I cannot envision such a thing. After the cataclysm, only one small lake of salt remained. War raged on and on as people fought to control it. The Rozelle tried to stop the fighting by digging up a giant pillar of salt to show everyone the secret they had long kept. But Hyzant, whose power over Norzelia came from controlling the lake and the salt it produced, could not allow the truth to get out. They captured the Rozelle, branded them criminals who tried to seize control of the salt for themselves, and confined them to the lake. And what of the pillar? 
Pizant stole it and hid it inside the very statue of the goddess that towers over the source. How can you be certain? During the uprising, my mother broke the statue and recovered a fragment of the pillar within. I found that very fragment during my visit to the village. Incredible. If what you say is true, the teachings are a lie. This will shake Haizan to its very foundations. And we would be able to free the Rizal from their imprisonment at the source. With so much at stake, we must be careful in what we do now. Frederica, I would ask for more time to think this through. Of course. I have every faith in House Wolford. And in you. That is the extent of what happened during our various endeavors. The passing of my Lord Father, the Royalist Scandal, and the book that revealed the truth about the Roselle and the Salt. It is time we consider what we shall do to overcome these obstacles facing us. I still cannot believe how quickly Lord Simon's condition worsened. It is most devastating. Sarah Noah, did your father say nothing else to you before he... <laughs> he... He bade me lead House Wolfort well. I see. Then we must all do what we can to help you honor that request. Your Majesty, what do you plan to do about the Royalists who misappropriated supplies? As far as I've been able to discern, those involved acted out of greed and self-interest. They must all be punished. Nothing less than exile from the kingdom or execution will suffice. But there are those among them who support the Glenbrook line. Will that not impact your governance? Perhaps. But to pardon their crimes would kindle the people's ire. We must make an example of them. To appease the people. To make clear the consequences of engaging in such foolhardy behavior. Did something else happen in the capital, King Roland? Nothing you need concern yourself with. But I must say, I was shocked to learn of that Rosellen legend. Do you suppose the contents of that book could be true? The part about their homeland, Centralia, that sits upon a vast saltwater sea? That of the untapped salt crystals beneath Norzelia? Or that, in order to monopolize the salt trade, Hyzant fabricated the Roselle's sins? That the Pillar of Salt Hyzant stole from the Roselle is hidden within the statue of the Goddess? If any of it is true, it would turn everything we know on its head. It would mean the teachings of the Holy State are not but lies. If you still doubt whether it is true, perhaps it will be quicker if I showed you. A pink rock? No. A salt crystal. I found it hidden in the Rosellen village. It is a fragment from the pillar within the statue of the goddess. One my mother obtained during the uprising. It fits perfectly. Apparently, Lady Orlea penned the book detailing the legend for Frederica. She did. She enchanted it so no one could open it, but left me the key to break the spell. This pendant. I doubt a mother would go to such lengths to lie to her daughter. Then we agree the legend contains at least a seed of truth. Your Majesty, we have received word that the survivors of the Duchy's army are amassing. What? Where? At the Grand Norzellian Mines. But we cannot be sure what they are doing. None of our scouts have returned. This frosty dogs! We will speak later, Saranoa. First, we must put down whatever the Duchy is planning at the mines. I need you and your people beside me. Of course. We shall ready ourselves for the battle at once.
Extraction is nearly finished. We've secured the amount we were told. Seems such a waste to just leave the rest. Don't think Archduke Gustadolf gives two shites. Hurry it up. We need to be done here before Glenbrook catches on to us. Sir. Sure. 